Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com. Recently, HTC unveiled a new version of its Sense interface for Android to debut on the HTC Desire HD, which comes out this fall. There's a lot of new changes, a lot of changes that they didn't even talk about in this new ROM. We've got a copy here of the ROM, and we're going to go through all of the new features right now. Let's get to it. So right now this is running actually on an HTC HD2. It's very easy to use and it also works very well. The phone works, Wi-Fi works, pretty much everything works. I'll put a link up in the description. If you want to try it for yourself, I'm sure this will be on the Nexus One, the Droid Incredible, you name it, any Android device in just a few weeks once the developers get their hands on it. So let's talk about this new version of Sense. It's very different. Starting off, to customize the interface, you press this button in the bottom right corner, and then you get this new screen, which very well organizes all of the different things you can do to customize the interface. Before, you just got kind of a dump of widgets and folders and things like that, but now you've got pretty much action. So here, show your favorite content on the home screen with widgets, app, open any app with one tap. So they really make it easy for people, especially new users, to understand what to do. Here's something they did not talk about you now get skins in the HTC Desire HD. So we've got the blackboard skin, the wood skin. So this is for people that don't like this curved design on the bottom. Let's choose the slate theme. This one's actually quite cool. So you click apply, you wait a minute, and then you get the new skin. And also there's a button to add more skins from htcsense.com, but that site is not up right now, so you can't really do much with that. So quite simply, what we're going to get is a few redesigned elements. This clock has a slate look to it, as does down here. And some other screens also take on this slate-like look, which you'll see through the rest of the walkthrough. Let's go back to the personalized screen. We can now change the scene, which is a set of pre-configured widgets, but now it's kind of 3D. It's really cool. So you can flip through and say, okay, well, I want to have my social scene. So maybe you turn this on on the weekend. I want to have my work scene. Perhaps this is good if you're traveling on business. And play, let's go to play. And also you see the get more button. It's another way to go to htcsense.com and get more scenes, uh, presumably ones that people can upload. So here we are going to get the standard, um, the standard play theme, which adds a variety of widgets and albums. We're gonna revert back to the first one just so I can walk through uh, some particular widgets that are new. Okay, so there's a new change to the notification area, which is awesome, fast app switching. So before in Android, if you're in settings and then you, uh, you go into, say, uh, messages, in order to switch between applications, you tap and hold the home button and you use the recent apps switcher to go to another program. Well, in the new version of HTC Sense, if you pull down the notification area, you get an iPhone 4-like task switcher. So this is just another way to sort of switch between two different applications or three different applications. It's kind of reminiscent of the old Windows Mobile recently used uh, list that was up in the start menu, which is really nice to have. Okay, so let's talk about some of these new widgets. So over here on Favorites, Favorites now integrates with social networking. So I've got my Facebook and Twitter plugged in, and down here we can see John Rettinger is going fast. And if you scroll down further, you can see if you have an email from somebody, there's a little indicator there that implies that I have an email from John and you get the point from there. So a new favorites widget in the new version of HTC Sense. Of course, you can still do the pinch to zoom to bring up this leap feature that lets you go uh, from screen to screen here. This is the friend stream, so it's gonna tap into my Facebook and Twitter, both at the same time. You get a little icon to let you know uh, which service you're entering. And so we've got this HTC Sense-like interface down at the bottom. We can slide to the right and slide to the left. And we get the continuation of that skin, the slate skin here. If you remember, the stock HTC Sense skin has kind of bubbles, but here we've got kind of squares. Okay, so here's something new for the email widget. You actually get little previews uh, within the HTC Sense widget, which is quite nice. You can read emails, preview them right from your home screen without having to dig into the uh, actual mail application. And to go to the mail application, you tap on the message. It will bring up the message uh, that the person has sent you. And we'll go back. Okay, so here is the weather widget, really unchanged. You can flick within the, the widget to get weather for various locations, or you can tap on one particular area and it will bring up uh, the weather in that area for the full screen update. Let's go back. Going the other way, let's see what we have. So this is actually footprints. So this ties into the location and I'll show you the pre-cached maps application in a minute. That is really awesome. And over here is a new feature called HTC Like. 
This is for application discovery. Android has, what, like 100,000 apps in the App Store right now, but how do you know which ones to download? HTC is making that slightly easier with the new HTC-like application. This is something else they didn't talk about at their press event, but we're showing it to you here. Um, so what you can do is flick through featured apps, or you could go down here and go to most popular apps. So you can see Google Goggles is very popular, Angry Birds. Go over here uh, to Friends Comments, kind of a social networking feature for applications. Very nice. We have Downloads over here, and on the right is Marked Items. So HTC Like is an HTC's new way of showing you which apps are interesting, and so on and so forth. And there is a corresponding widget to that. So you can always see new applications on your home screen. We're going to remove that. Let's add a new widget. So go through the ones that are, are loaded here. So we have uh, the widget application there, and most of these are standard. A lot of these are unchanged. So we have the calendar app, which has a variety of different styles, but you've seen this before. So we can select that, and here's the calendar. Um, kind of has a squarish look because the theme we're using right now is square. Again, tap and hold. We can dive into here and change the widgets. Facebook widget, Google widget, HTC Likes is the one that we talked about. A lot of these are standard things um, that you've already seen. There are minor variations on a lot of them. They're improved a little bit, spruced up. And in some cases, you get new layouts for certain widgets. So let's go back. Another thing that is new is a new live wallpaper. So if we go into here again, the personalized screen, we go to wallpaper, we can change the live wallpaper to and by the way, you get this new 3D interface like you get for scenes and for skins. And this is a new one. It's called Slideshow. And it's not going to work on this device um, because I don't have any photos. But presumably, pictures will sort of fly in onto your home screen. Really cool feature. Here's something else that's new. Once you plug in your Facebook or Twitter, when you go in the notification area, you'll see something that says Matched Contact Suggestion. So from here, it will suggest who you should be linking to your Facebook. So um, it sees that I have a, um, a Twitter contact, Adam Z. Lane, and a Facebook contact, Adam Lane. So it wants me to link those together, very smart, so that throughout the operating system, when Adam calls, I will be able to see his updates in the now calling screen. Really cool way to just tie everything together. And that was a look at some of the changes in the new version of HTC Sense for the Desire HD. They've really taken the home screen interface to the next level here. It's really great to be able to switch between applications through the notification area, a great use of space. And all of the new widgets and the skins and the, the 3D way to look at scenes is really fantastic. Coming up soon, we'll talk about the locations feature, which preloads map data so you don't get the waiting checkerboards that is a characteristic of Google Maps Mobile. Please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching. That's it for now.